from the RSG Media Center in the Beast City. Welcome to the Love TV Evening News for Monday, May 31st. I am Andrew Kidwani. And good evening. I am Patrick Jones. It is the final day in the month of May and we are on the eve of the start of the 2010 hurricane season. There is a lot to tell you about on this newscast, so let's start with a check of the stories that are making headlines today. Results of the primary school examinations show increases in all subject areas. A domestic dispute in the Corozal district has left one woman dead. And activities underway in celebration of insurance. Details of these stories and more are coming up on the broadcast tonight. But first, here is a word from our sponsors. The results of the primary school examinations for 2010 were issued this past Friday. While the PSC is not the sole criteria for entrance into secondary school, more than 6,600 elementary students prepared for months to achieve the highest possible score in math, English, social studies, and science. Their efforts were not in vain as Yvonne Davis, chief education officer responsible for examinations, highlights the increase in all subject areas. Our subject we have um, the, the English score went up from 60.9 in 2009 to 63.5 in 2010. The math score from 46.2% to 53%. The social studies score from 58% to 63.5%. And the science score from 60.7% to 70%. I don't know that there is one variable that it is attributed to. There are a number of factors at play in education, and I think it is just the natural flow of the system. We were expecting the schools to go up. Um, we expect the schools to go up every year, since schools are very much aware of what the PSC um, is, what the test entails, what the content is. Um, the content comes from the national curriculum, and so we believe that um, this is just an indication of the whole system at work. While an almost perfect score is difficult to achieve, there are a few students who manage to pull it off. Paper two, the first day, was more difficult for me because there, you don't know what can go wrong because you have to really make sure you know your grammar, your language, especially when it comes to composition. You need to make sure that you know all, all of the basic types of parts of speech. Everything, I believe, wasn't that difficult, but I really was nervous about the composition and the mathematics because that's where I hear that most points are taken off. What was the preparation like? Did you have tutors? Um, did, was your parents, were your parents heavily involved? How was the preparation? Well, I have to say my principal, the teachers, all the teachers, my classmates, especially my close friends in my class, they, and my parents of course, really supported me all the way. They helped me study. They pushed me and drive me to do excel in most things so I believe that they pretty much gave me my confidence boost so I really have to say thank you to them because they're pretty much the main reason I got to where I am now Davis says the top performers will be recognized nationally and in the various municipalities within the next two weeks In the Corozal district has left one woman dead. Corozal police say early Sunday morning they went to the home of 37-year-old James Jackson. Police say Jackson met them and told them he had stabbed and killed his girlfriend inside the home. Upon entering the home, police saw the body of 21-year-old Estella Amador lying in a pool of blood in the kitchen. Jackson handed over a broken kitchen knife with what appeared to be blood stains. Jackson was taken into custody and charged for murder. 
Another murder was reported, this time in the Cayo district. San Ignacio police say on Friday morning they visited an area between Sacred Heart High School and the Orchard where they saw the body of a Hispanic man in some bushes. The body was later identified as that of 48-year-old Thomas Logan of Santa Elena Town. Police say Logan was reportedly involved in a fight with another man who allegedly inflicted several stab wounds to Logan. He was stabbed to his back, shoulder blade, right rib cage, the left side of his forehead, head and over his right eye. Belmopan police are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of 32-year-old Carlos Antonio Valladares, who was found dead by officers early on Saturday morning at an area on the Western Highway. Police are suspecting his death was another hit-and-run incident, but his family is not convinced and say he was murdered. Valladares, who is from San Martin, was last seen on Friday night when he left home and headed for Cotton Tree Village. His mother, Maria Valladares, says that she had waited on him to return that night, but he didn't. I got to know, I want to know for him at home because he left around 8.20 or 8.30 in the night from home. He did not return. When morning came, I got up and did not see the vehicle and he was not home either. So my daughter called the police station and asked if he was there, but he wasn't. I then went to my mother's house to ask her to go with me to the hospital. I discovered something I was not expecting, his body. The family is saying they are deeply disturbed at the way Valladares' face was disfigured. His girlfriend, Daisy Morales, said she could hardly recognize him. When I went to see him, his face, you can't recognize, you can't recognize it because it's really, really, it looks very bad. It's like, it's, it's beyond the recognition. It's really hard to recognize his face. According to the family, police have told them that the body has two more wounds to the stomach area but cannot verify the extent of his injuries until after a post-mortem examination. The family has uh, their suspicions and is pleading to the public and police to help solve the case. What has happened is that I want them to please help me with the investigation of my son's death. I cannot believe that it was an accident. His face, they have disfigured his face. They have left him without a face. According to police reports, they received a call around 4 on Saturday morning and when they arrived at mile 44 on the Western Highway, they found the body of Carlos Antonio Valladares with multiple injuries to the head and upper body. Police also recovered his cellular phone that was destroyed and a knife in the immediate area. The knife was later found to be his. Police say that a motorist had called, called them, reporting to have seen the body on the highway but not in time to avoid running over it. Police have not yet concluded whether the incident was a hit and run or if Viadaris was indeed murdered. They say though that after a post-mortem examination scheduled for tomorrow, they expect to have a clearer lead into the case. Viadaris' vehicle was found in Cotton Tree Village and further police investigation indicates that he was drinking earlier in the night. An inmate at the central prison in Hattieville was reportedly stabbed. People say 33-year-old inmate Kevin Alvarez reported that on Saturday afternoon he was outside his cell in the Tango 10 area when he was approached by another inmate, Jeffrey Flowers. According to Alvarez, Flowers stabbed him to the upper right side of his abdomen. Alvarez said he has had no previous problems with Flowers. You're watching Love TV's Evening News. We will have more of today's stories for you right after these messages.